<laughs> we eating ass on a daily basis and you know what that does to you mm. you start one of the ways i know that the streets are not as cold is because i left them Ooh. if i drop if i drop those juice no nah, for real for real guys it was not nice you know it's not it's I cold think, ah my nigga trust me i was the winter in the streets you get what i mean hey, hey, hey. no 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 no, no. But then we took we took about we took we took about, about, about nah, it used to be too smooth. Hey, you know? hey, I retired. Hey, nah, hey, I retired. You get me what I mean? The thing that you think of the most is most likely to happen. That mm-hmm. is the law. You are what you think, and what you think about tends to happen. Yeah. That's also why I kinda hate people that save money for rainy days. Do you know what? There's a quote that says, if you save money for rainy days, trust me, the rainy days will come. So no, you, when your rainy day comes, uh, it's, uh, not, it's not just gonna rain, it's gonna pour. <laughs> it's gonna so pour. He's, this like, he's the type of nigga to have like a rainy day and still blame himself. Like, no, I must have thought about this. That's what I'm going to <laughs> I, I naturally discover that I'm like, nah, with words. Okay. You understand? Mm, mm, mm. So. Smooth talker. Yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? Nah, 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 bro, like, that, that, <laughs> Bro, I don't have a... You know Rama, bro. Uh, yeah, uh, Rama, yeah. Rama, okay. Rama Tang, my yeah, nigga. Yeah, 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 that's me. You know, Mr. Butter with the mm. lips. Yeah. And I'll be honest with you guys, man. The reason I keep on bringing this thing up, it's because, you know, the people, that's what they, they like want. Bums. They like bums. <laughs> you know, if you come in... I think for me, more than trying to solve what you meant to do, I think find something to do mm. and be good at that. Here's my question. What do you then say to someone who does not know what to do with their lives. You understand? Um, I was actually talking to Reese, and yeah, Reese yeah. was telling me, yo, bro, we need to stop um, talking about girlfriend allowance. We need to mm. stop about talking mm-hmm. about um, Mjolo dating. Yeah. People are going to think we're narrow-minded. This is all we think about. This is all we talk about. You guys here, and, man. <laughs> and I told him, bro, that's not true dog we know ourselves right yeah. but anyways a lot of people have been complaining dog saying dog it's becoming um boring it's becoming predictable Who's complaining? Know. everyone's complaining I'm getting, a, I'm getting a lot of dms saying that as well is, 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 hands, it, is it girls it both hands and pros maybe but, you guys are like that, are you guys like voting for allowances to be given maybe the niggas are like nah niggas nah, <laughs> what do you think you the money. nah bro i feel like the things we speak about are mm. relatable relatable yeah. And yes, we can get serious, mm. now, but in the same breath, yeah. when you're sitting at home, you want to entertain, mm. it's entertainment, mm. it's not school, mm. that, that's my chat. What I told Riz was like, dog, screw whatever people think, we know ourselves, right? Oh, yeah, yeah mm-hmm. it's not like we always talk, we actually hardly talk about these things, we just do it for the sake of, um, it's relatable topics like you said, it's, mm. it's topics that we think people will like, you know. Um, yeah, that's that's what I told them, I was like, bro, and also I told them, dog, it's a long year, we've got, like, dog, Ish. it's a long year, we'll have a lot of time to have yeah. serious chats. Oh, gosh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> like, I feel like I'm, I'm coming to like a rebrand. Uh, you're coming to a rebrand. <laughs> like, I'm trying to be serious right uh, so, now. Nah, so nah for me, I feel, like, I feel like that also could come from like, you know when you guys, I feel like maybe you guys are like committed, you guys are like relationship niggas. Mm. Mm. And you guys, you know when you're involved in something, mm. yeah. you, you, it's easy to speak on it all the time because it's like, it's, it's, we, it's a big part wait, of your life. See, no, are we relationship niggas? Hmm? Are we relationship niggas? Sometimes. Uh, sometimes, it depends. <laughs> yeah, it depends. <laughs> Yeah, for me, are, you, like, are you a relationship? <laughs> yeah, big time. Bro. Ah, like, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm committed. How long? Right how long? How long? Um, I think approaching eight months. Okay. Mm. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Mm. Are you pushing, pushing, bro? Are you pushing, bro? Pushing, 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 Oh, we've got Carlo over here. He's oh, doing he his open chat debut. Oh, Let's see how he does. And we've got our boy back here. If you know him on the previous episode we we, we had on the open chats, this is Mr. 8020 himself. Parisino Dango. is back on the podcast. And guys, today's topic is very, very interesting. I want us to talk about this because we're very young. Okay, I also want to brief people, you know, to give people insights on what open chat is all about. Because yeah, sure. um, a lot of people are like, is dating, relationships, what you all talk about? Open chat, guys, is a platform where we talk about life, you understand? We talk sure. about anything and everything that people go through. It just happened that at the time we spoke about relationships a lot. It happened organically. For but sure. as a mm. lot of people are complaining and saying, mm. are you guys a relationship podcast? No. Mm. Open I chats. Like, I feel like it's because we were going through it. And talk. You think so? Yeah. It, was, it was tough. I feel like uh, it's easy, like I said, to speak me, 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 I was at, I was at his place we're having a chat bro yo it got deep 
talking about talking about things you that were venting here. You, see, <laughs> were venting, were you, venting. you see what he's doing? He's, he's taking us back <laughs> to the relationship back. here. Yeah. Yeah. But 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 actually I did film an episode about that. It's gonna drop Is on it? the channel. Yeah, I actually had two girls. It was Trebo and um Sissy, mm. but we spoke about mm. it. That issue is such a The one the one you yeah. didn't invite me yeah. to. You had your problems <laughs> at Leighton Police Station, Chief. Ash, you know. Chief, yeah. Ash, Ash, but anyway, <laughs> <laughs> but anyways yeah bro um today's topic guys um is, is 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 yeah just to brief people again on what open chats is about guys we talk about anything we speak about life and today's topic is a very interesting topic i want us to speak about this because we're still young bruce figuring ourselves we still got the future ahead of us recent i it's a pity is not around recent i always talk about um these two things yeah. it's it's a view that you have in life do you believe this has to do with destiny in the future and what you become. Because we're still young, still mm. finding our feet. There's two ways to look at it. There's the narrative that go after what you want to be. Work too hard and be whatever you want to be. Chase it. Do all you can. For then sure. there's also the narrative that says, yo, bro, don't chase stuff. What's meant to be will happen. You. you understand? <laughs> but, mm. but at the same time, it's also confusing because you hear <laughs> um, English sayings that say, um, things get very, very tough just before you're about to like uh, blow up. Mm, you understand? Mm. Then there's that also thing that says, if you love something, let it go. If it's yours, it's gonna come back. So that's today's chat. <laughs> it and, doesn't come back. Bro. Yeah, and 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 sorry, man. I wanna explain this like very, very yeah. well so we both get it. Sure. I want us to link this in everything. We're speaking mm. about life, careers, relationship. Sure. Do you go after what you want? Or you you do just enough and relax, yeah. And what's meant to be will come. Yeah, if I can chip in, like for me, like it's I th I think that the concept of like follow, mm. you know, it will come to you. Like I feel like the concept of destiny and purpose. It's like I feel like just growing up in here as a person. Yeah, you understand. There's so many things that are, are big question marks. You know, mm. I mean, we mm. have no we have no hand in how we get mm. or arrive in this life. You understand. Yeah. So it's also just like growing up and trying to figure yourself. Like even you think if you look at what teenagers deal with in terms of trying to identify themselves understand themselves fit in mm -hmm. you understand there's a lot of question marks identity who i am and uh why do people like me why don't they like mm -hmm. me there's mm -hmm. so many things that we experience that we don't understand mm -hmm. where they come from okay mm -hmm. and there's too many question marks mm -hmm. for me to even recommend that model of you know destiny it will come to mm -hmm. you it's like it's like man what is your purpose it's a big question mm. you know actually i feel like if you spend too much time trying to understand it and trying to figure out what you meant to do mm. you know it, it, it could actually just add more question marks and okay. more time gets 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 passed and i think mm. the only thing i would say in terms of destiny is that maybe your talent could be indicators of what you meant to do if you're someone who stand on and i believe in destiny i believe in love mm. well i feel like your talent could be like an indication of what you might be destined to do mm. but the sure. question is the chat is while you have your your talents it could yeah. be linked on who you become do you work extremely hard to pursue that no, or you do just enough it's gonna come on its ah, own it's gonna come everything will come around yeah. joking <laughs> <laughs> of course you have no to but work. Uh, yeah, i think okay. it's it's a matter of perspective because mm. uh, now these people that came up with these codes it's it's probably a direct reflection of their life okay. so you know if you wait for it it's gonna come it's gonna come it probably yeah. came for them mm. It, the things came and then there's another guy who waited and nothing came and he's like no ways then he worked and it came so he's like no hard work i don't believe in whatever so people would have different views because they come from different places your your walk in life determines what you believe in you basically exactly say then like for for example with nico me, please close the door ne? please close the door it's going down outside mm. yeah yeah sorry to just say if i won the lotto mm. ne? all this all the money whatever i decide to drop a book and say guys just believe mm. just manifest it will come mm. to you yeah and then someone in some in the rural areas or somewhere you now blocking that hard work part mm. because it's like yeah. oh he believed he manifested let me do the same do you think that when people are asking themselves when people are, are, are like speaking about this manifesting thing that because someone can say like, nah, man, when we say like, it will come to you, we're not saying don't work. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Yes, because that's what I wanted to yeah. charge on because yeah. it doesn't mean they can't coexist. Yeah. You know, um, but go on, sorry. Like, that's a question. Like, I have, I want to also understand really mm. more than like, shares a point. Like, when people talking about manifesting, manif like, what, what, what are you saying manifesting does mm. you know or what is it trying to solve what are you trying to solve when you're recommending okay. manifestation i think you do you know what manifestation is 
Uh, I just see candles on, on socials. I think <laughs> that's what I take it to be. <laughs> uh, what, what I know about manifestation is this: it's it's a whole concept of the the universe has um, energies. It's all about attracting what you want, mm-hmm. acting as if before you become. You know, yeah. calling it. It's it's all these things of frequencies. I don't know if you believe in that. Like the universe is a universe of frequencies. So if you want to achieve something, you gotta attract it. You've gotta match its sequence. You know. Yeah. So you have to behave mm. like you're there before you get before there. You're there. You have to like these you have to say it every day, bro. huh? I feel like these things of universe and this no, bro. And I feel like it just complicates. It creates like a bigger fog because mm. mm. people are trying to like really. I think everybody is trying to like do something of value, mm-hmm. be productive, mm-hmm. and maybe be recognized for what they do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like you want to be, you want to feel like you are something, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. right? And I feel like this thing of like the universe will bring it, the energies, the The, the, the things of the like, universe do exist, bro. They're real. Mm. Trust me, they're very real. But what I would say is about <laughs> manifestation, what I've seen, the main trick in life, in my opinion, is action. You can manifest as much as you want, mm. yeah. but without the action, like proper, mm. proper action, mm. nothing will work. Get and number work. two, you can act without the manifestation and it will still work. So I think the most important thing, bro, is going after what you want to mm. get. I feel like these manifestations and concepts, because mm. the work is very simple. Getting yeah. to work is straightforward, right? Mm. You want to do something, start here and, and mm. work on it. I feel like the concept of manifestations and frequencies, it comes from because people have a hard time understanding what they want to do with themselves, what mm. it means to be alive. You know, because if I'm say I, I, I want to, to build a, a cupboard yeah. as my task in this life, mm. uh. you can easily tell me like, ah, dude, go build it. Uh. Grab, grab those, those two pieces yeah, and put yeah. them together and assemble mm. them. But why then, for me, my question is, if, if, if life is just about identifying what you want to do and mm. pursuing it, then mm. what's the purpose? Why are we even talking about the frequencies? And me, what's the struggle? Why? Mm. What is the purpose of these conversations of frequencies? Mm. And you know, like, what? Why? Why bring it up? Hey, this guy, the chat, yeah. you get okay, me? but Carlo, we, we, we had a chat there. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I forgot exactly what we were talking about, but you yeah. were saying in terms of the entertainment space, something yeah. draws you. Yeah. What do you think it is that that drew you? That is, I feel like that's where we're getting to in terms of mm. frequency. To say there's something that pulls you towards something you don't know what it is you don't know it's yeah. that it's that force is that the law of attraction sort of yeah law of attraction do you know the law of attraction um look people say a lot of it bro mm-hmm. I've heard okay it. you don't so believe in is, you don't is, believe is, in these things is, is that like is love, i don't i don't know it's my homeboy he likes to say you are what you eat is that like part of this law of attraction like? i think law of attraction has more to do with um he did say frequency your how do i say it the thing that you think of the most yeah. mm. is most likely to happen. That mm. is the law. Okay. For sure. I'm not saying wake up and think about money every day. Mm. And then then you're going to get the money. Yeah. But, <laughs> but, but <laughs> if now and go think about money <laughs> forever. <Yeah. laughs> it's gonna, this nigga said it's going to happen. Uh, but now okay. speaking, I'll, yeah. I'll use that as, as an example. I yeah. think about money every day. Now. Yeah. And my, my subconscious is now going to be looking for opportunities to make money. Mm. So I wake up, I think money, money, money. When someone says, hey, bro, I'm looking for sneakers, Air Force Ones, I got 500. And then I see on Instagram someone selling theirs for 200 and what I'll be like, oh, okay, for sure. there's a 300 grand opportunity. Yeah. Let me go make some money. Yeah. So it's not to say that it's just going to come, but you're aligning yourself to, to be able to get whatever you're thinking of. Yeah, I like that. He said two things: you are what you eat, and <laughs> what you think about is what you attract. Yeah. That is why I hate the gram. Do you know yeah. what the gram shows us? As 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 you are talking about I'll that. Never when, 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 like, when you're on the <laughs> IG Explore page, yeah. all you see is as as as. Do you know what that does? Do you know why? Do you know what that does? Do you know what that does? We eating ass on a daily basis, and do you know what that does to you? Mm. You start attracting ass. That's all you think about. You but understand? But now, so, yeah. so Instagram has I don't think an I algorithm. Have a with l- l- listen, Instagram l- has an algorithm. It knows what you like. The reason you see bugs uh, is because you're liking bugs. <laughs> 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 now we know what he does on his hey, I, I like what you're saying, but yeah. let's be very honest, guys. Instagram yeah. knows I am a Bum young seeker. black <laughs> man yes. in my yes. 20s. Mm. For sure. Everyone likes bums at that age. To a certain extent. To a certain so extent. So I'm trying to say every once in a while they're gonna show you bums. And the fact that it's even that the fact that you even find it means it's there. These girls are mm. posting it. So it's like okay. See no, do you get my chat though? I get you. I, I'm I'm actually interested to see your explore page. Ah, come on, yeah. Chief. Come on. But yeah, um sorry, sorry. Back to <laughs> back to the to the law of attraction. Yeah. I, I liked what he said about um 
you are what you think and what you think about tends to happen yeah. that's also why i kind of hate people that save money for rainy days do you know what? there's a quote that says if you save money for rainy days trust me the rainy days will come do you get that that's ah, the law bro, of disagree you disagree bro. i disagree bro I also because disagree. everyone <laughs> everyone has rainy days it's preparation nah, bro <laughs> so nah, you when your bro. rainy day comes it's nah. not it's not just gonna rain it's gonna pour nah. it's gonna so pour yeah, this thing is like, he's the type of nigga to have like a rainy day and still blame himself like no i must have thought about this <laughs> <laughs> it's like yo nah, you know, bro you guys you are not hearing me and you, you guys are not hearing me i'm not against saving <laughs> People who save for rainy days are attracting rainy days because that's what you're thinking about. I, I, I struggle to find truth in that. Uh, you know, I really do. But I'll say this. People though. who are on some, just in case my, my tire burst, let me yeah. buy this tire. Your tire okay. is going... You're the type not to have insurance. Né? Because you say, if I have insurance, that my house is going to burn. I don't want to expose myself. Let me not answer that. I don't. I don't want to expose myself in that. Mm. But anyways, yeah. Um, um. Yeah, guys. Love attraction. You are what you think. And let's go back to the topic we were yeah. talking about. Um, destiny and everything. Um, I personally think and believe in 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 hard work in going after what you want. All the people that I look up to, um, in different walks of life. You know, I'm a big fan of Casper Newvest. I like his journey. Casper yeah. started. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, in the hip hop space in South Africa majority okay not not all of them but a majority of the successful rappers had an element of soft leaving you understand mm. or if they don't have a soft leaving background they cheat the system by being friends with rich bruce by soft mm. leaving you mean like they had some wealthy, background of advantage wealthy families yeah mm. so. yeah m many of them many of them not the kasi rappers though the job the north job are you saying Cas casper is conscious to that is that why you admire him casper's conscious to that okay, and cool. his success for me he's the most successful artist rapper in south africa you understand? And mm. what I like about his journey, he went after it. And I'll explain why. You see footages of Casper when you're still upcoming, begging taxi drivers. Hey, yo, please. Mm, you yeah. don't see that a lot with the other artists, you know. And mm. look at where he is. Casper forces things. He does celebrity fights. He's forcing things. He's a boxer now. For He's sure. filling up stadiums. I believe that is you actively going after what you want. And I really believe in that. Second person I admire who has done that is, um, who can I bring up? Cristiano Ronaldo. When you talk about For Cristiano sure. Ronaldo, Leo Messi, I personally think Messi is one of the most talented people we've ever seen but for Ronaldo to be in a conversation of being compared to that guy is is an illustration of what hard work mm, does mm, you know sure, sure. and I always have this chat with Reese. it's a pity again he's not around Reese is on some bro don't chase it just do enough it will come like guys I don't know man I feel like if you give me a moment because I feel so strong about like you mm. know, this topic in terms of purpose because it really is something I genuinely like struggled to resolve for myself mm. for example um i'm someone who would say well, i was naturally like good with literature right oh, is it? like I, I i just happened mm. to like my my english teachers were the ones who indicated mm. because i used mm. to like really like enjoy my essays mm. oh, okay. i remember even like um in matric mm. uh, mr rue like mm. it was like after i wrote like an essay for him like quick yeah. i was late for class and they did and they'd been doing it, essays it so genius, he, yeah he was like yo dude, just it's like he was like he kicked me out of his class like no you can't come in mm. uh, just write an essay and i just like i was just, i freestyled it quickly mm. and i gave it to him after the class, your lady like, must be your lady must be feeling this you're probably it's heavy with the poetry yeah? the poetry I'm trying, is I'm trying, crazy. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying to make a link with uh, where i'm going in terms okay. of i feel like test destiny ties ties into like talent right mm -hmm. so for me i i naturally discover that i'm like now nah, with words okay you mm, understand mm, mm. so smooth talker yeah man you know what i'm saying nah, 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 bro like that, that <laughs> Bro, I don't have a, you know, Rama, bro. Uh, yeah, uh, Rama, yeah. Rama, okay. Rama Tang, my yeah, nigga. Yeah, 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 that's me, you know, Mr. Butter with the mm. lips. Okay. You know? So, uh, now nah, it used to be too smooth, uh, you know. Uh, I retired. Uh, nah, but then I retired. You get me what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So, some of the things that I naturally found that I'm gifted in mm -hmm. was like my ability to like put together words or image, mm. right? So, because I'm, a, funny enough, I think in images. Okay. Right? So, hence why yeah, this, I... This it, talent it, is a serious it, one. Which, which is like... It's not the normal one. Yeah. yeah. Like I really think in, in, in images, moving mm. pictures, right? So, hence why I find words so... I can be so good with words okay. because I have a way of understand of trying to interpret how i see things mm. okay. you understand okay so naturally i was i've always had indicators like yo no you should you should get into like writing you should mm. get into this you get into that and 
at some point I was even like trying to rap. Mm-hmm. You know? Okay. Uh, didn't, decent guy. Didn't, didn't yeah. No, 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 no. Right? I, like for me, I just stopped. But it, like uh, everybody was like, ah, dog, you should have. You've got, got something. Yeah. You should have mm-hmm. gone all the way. Mm-hmm. Could have been one of the dope guys, you know. Mm-hmm. But for me, what didn't attract me, even though I could understand what appears to be what I'm naturally gifted in, the reason why, like I, when you talk about talent and 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 like like purpose and destiny, mm-hmm. like I really go it goes for me. I link choice in that. Mm. The reason why I didn't spend time pursuing, you know, rap is because for where my life was at the mm. time, I discovered that in order to rap, I didn't know, that, like, I spent so much time in my emotions, man. Mm. Mm. And with everything that was, I was dealing with, you know, from home to, like, school, mm. you know, and I just, I, f- I felt spending time in my emotions. Mm. And this thing is forcing me to always go in my emotions. Mm. And I was like, no, okay, I'm good with these words, but I'm always in my room writing and mm. thinking and mm. and always deep you know and mm. always in this and mm. I, I, before even depression was like a word mm. for me i was like you could feel i was depressed you know mm. so not even knowing that's what, what i'm, I'm going trying to get where is it going with this because yeah still i'm, I'm gonna, t- oh, I'm gonna okay. tell you where i'm okay. going with it the point for me is that i chose not to follow <laughs> what could have been mm. a, a where a de- what i could have been destined mm. to do like you understand because mm. talents are indicators of maybe what you could be like if, mm. if, if you naturally can sing mm. and you're struggling to understand what you to what you can what you must do with your life mm. and i know that you can sing I'm like yo bro it's how about you try it's singing? a direction yeah. you know you, you maybe that's what you meant to mm. do because you can sing mm. you know so i feel like there's 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 gifts mm-hmm. that indicate what you might be meant to do if that's mm-hmm. a question that you're mm-hmm. trying to answer mm-hmm. if you're trying to link your purpose with being productive right mm-hmm. so i said like your gift could answer that mm-hmm. okay. but in terms of but i in terms, but that's like some people's some people's gifts are not like visible things. Yeah, you get what I'm saying. It's mm. like you, I can draw. People can see that. I can mm. sing. People can hear that. Mine's definitely not visible. You know what I mean? Is For you, it's like it's creative. It's like cheese, it's how you yeah? put something together. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like it's how you put. For real, it's like how some you get me. It's like how you put something uh, together, might be, uh, or how you function in a certain space. I mm. like I like yeah. what you touched about. People tell you, people tell you. Again, it goes back to the universe and energies. Yeah. Do you know that I spoke to some guy? <laughs> I spoke to some Jewish guy. Yeah, we were talking about destiny and talents and abilities. You know what he said? Yeah, he said Mto. If you, because other people can get confused in in a sense whereby you have a lot of abilities and talent, you don't know how to distribute yourself. Yeah. For example, I could be smooth with the tongue myself. Yeah. I'm a good soccer player. I'm a good basketball player. Mm, I, sure. I'm a sprinter. Oh. What should I do? I can't do all three. You understand? So you get confused. And this Jewish guy said something very, very powerful. And I want to share this with you guys. Sure. He said, you must learn how to listen to the universe. It's, it will guide you, you understand? And this is also going to tie back to hard work and letting things be. This is what he said. For he sure. said, listen to the universe, it's going to guide you, you understand? Mm. He said, so if you can notice in your life and pay back, there's always a pattern in your life. There's certain things that you try to do and they never work out. Yes. They always struggle. Mm. You know that in your life. Every time I try to do one, two, and three, um, my car gets a puncher. Um, my child gets a puncher, my mom calls me back home, I forget my pen. Then there's certain things that you try to do with, with ease, they just land, they mm. just work. So he said, that is the universe communicating with you, giving you guidance. But most of the time, you stubborn. You want to be a boxer. Sure. You train the hardest, you get an injury. But it's not, you train the hardest, yeah. the, 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 the fight gets cancelled, you understand? Yeah. So he said, if people would learn to listen to the universe mm. yeah. and let it guide you, the but no, that's it's also difficult because now yeah. you you you're now discounting as well challenges that people come across within the journey. Yes, within the journey. Yeah. But um, I wanted to touch on what you said. Um, there's this word. It's called ikigai. Ne? Okay. It's a Japanese oh, yeah. uh, proverb. You know, yeah. it's a it's a Japanese proverb. So there's four things um, that can it basically. Um, describes your purpose so it's what you love what you're good at what the world needs you hear and what you can be paid for all of that put together what you love what you're good at yeah so it's what you love what you're good at um what you can be paid for and what the world needs. Okay. So even you saying listening to the universe, that's what the world needs. And if you're good at something, you'll know that you're good at it because you're above average compared to other people. I like mm. that I'm taking mm. that. That like, 
it's, I feel like it's a solution for someone who's confused, who's mm. abilities and creativity. Mm. Mm. You just look, okay, I like that. Yeah. Like that. Mm. For me, man, when it comes to like a conversation, which is like you have great points, by the way. Mm. Like it's it's actually nice the way to split it like that mm. in terms of what you love, what you're good at, uh, what you need, and what you could be paid for. And sometimes these things work together, you know. Mm. For me, for to someone who's probably struggling to understand what they meant to do and what their purpose is, I remember this guy once said, like, you know, there's 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 a great, 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 great musician right now, and he's a politician. You know what I mean? Mm. It's like this guy is actually meant to be an artist, a, a musician, great musician mm. but, he pursued but politics, he's in politics, right? politics, so he's robbing yeah. us of that. We don't, we haven't heard his music. Mm. You know, I think for me, more than trying to solve what you meant to do, I think find something to do mm. and be good at that. Mm. I think that for me is a template I'd recommend because in that you can find something of value you can contribute, something of value that you understand can be distinguished by, right? Mm. And, and something of value that can also feed mm. you, right? You can get paid for it, yeah. you understand? And I think if I ask you then, how do I become that? I think that's what interests me in following that template. Because then I can say, look, man, if you're trying to be this, right, tr instead of trying to hear what the universe is saying, because mm. like I'm like for me, the universe was speaking, bro. But like, look, there's not the only the universe is not the only thing that was speaking, bro. Life was speaking. You understand? The life like, is the mm. universe. Life is like, the but universe. But I'm saying that situations. Like I, I'm saying that what I'm trying to say is that I was not even in a space to receive mm. that because I, I'm dealing with things that are more confrontational than the voice of hey, this is what you're good at. You know, people go through like traumatic things, life and family mm -hmm. situations. And it's like what you want to do right now, like, it's like someone who knows that they can go to varsity, that rather get a job so they can cause go higher yeah. than they need them. Yeah. Need, we need someone it's an immediate them. problem. It's an immediate problem trying to face. So there's those things that are also so loud that sometimes they, I feel like spending time trying to, if you got to hear the universe and follow it very well, mm. it could mean that you might not have too many, maybe you're living soft, you know what mm. I mean? Not yeah. really, dog. Soft, not really. I disagree, baby. dog. But I, I think you're yeah. missing the point of the universe. Do you know that you being depressed <laughs> is the universe telling you something? Are you aware of that? Depression is, is the universe telling you something isn't ah, right in your life. I, I just thought my mm. bills are not paid, bro. <laughs> no, you're not doing something right. Yeah, bro. your well. bills are not paid for a reason, dog. That is I, guidance. I, I don't know, because I blew the bag, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you're depressed because you blew the bag, bro. <laughs> That's see, why the bill was not you, paid, you think, dog? I think, I personally think um, Carlo is missing the, the concept of the universe. Bro, mm. the universe is this. Everything happens for a reason. You understand? Sure, sure. Like, I'll make you an example. Um, we, 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 we decide to do an episode. Yeah. I'm making an example. For an example, as, as I was at the weekend politicians say. <laughs> yeah, I'm making an example. We're doing yeah. an episode and Sino doesn't come. Yeah. He's like, yo, Jens, drops us last minute. Yeah. Then this car is like, yo, bro, I want to join the podcast. Do you see the coincidence there? Yeah. He dropped us last minute mm. and out of the blue he came. That is the universe communicating, guiding you. Mm. So what I'm trying to say, bro, you don't need to be soft to be listening to the... Bro, things happen, dog. Look, I, I, You're I, supposed I, to smash this hand. Yeah. Something happens, you can't. Bro, hey, I promise you, that, like, that was the, the universe. Yeah. 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 I thought you were rebranding. Wrong show, wrong episode. No palms, no palms. Purpose, my nigga. Let's leave palms, guys. Let's leave palms. Let's leave palms. Let's leave palms. But you get, you, you, get you, get though, you get what I'm saying, though. You get what I'm saying, though. And I'll be honest with you guys, man. The reason I keep on bringing this thing up, it's because, you know, the people, that's what they want. They like palms. You know, if you come here and talk politics, chief. Close oh, that thing, you know? And guys, please remember to like. You guys watch our videos, you don't like to subscribe. Please press the like button, guys. It's very, very important, especially the like button. So we're just connecting you three seconds to click on the right that like moment button. Of, moment of silence moment for liking, subscribing. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, yeah, I was so I was just gonna <laughs> say what what you touched on, now. Yeah. You said for, there's some people that are confused. Nah. Now I'm saying, guys, in your face, you must force. Force you things. Force. You yeah. try everything. <laughs> yeah. If, if, you, if you're confused, you don't have talent, you force. You try everything. You play pool. You yeah. play soccer. Give it five months. Yeah. Five months playing soccer. You say but what if you were supposed to break up in six months? You were supposed to land in six months and you're giving yourself five months. Force. Force again and again with everything, bro. Until until you, you know, find it's actually like a mad 
mad hectic topic. Yeah. Like for real, like a lot of, I feel like someone- I just got a budget. Yeah. So I drop. Drop, drop my nigga. Drop that Let part. me have my single moment today. Yeah. Go. I posted on my Instagram story mm. and I said, I think life is about two things. There's only two things. I'm touching on him of saying, what, what if you give it six months or five months or six months? This is how you know. I think there's two things life tests from sure. us. It's, it's, it's patience and persistence. That will solve all your life problems. <laughs> what, what do you think I mean? Yeah. Whether you know whether you're made to be a musician, so musician or not, you told yeah. us you had a passion in writing, but you didn't go through with it. You lacked patience and persistence. If you meant to be, if you meant to be something, you're gonna be patient with it, even if it takes six months, even if it takes twelve months. You mm. understand? And within the patience, remember the two things go hand in hand. You've got to be patient and persistent, not just patience. What do I mean? Yeah. While you're patient, relaxing, you are also persistently going after it. You understand? They asked Terry Hundry if you are not a professional footballer, what would you be? His answer was, I would be a broke. Amateur footballer. That's the patience and the system. But he had the bar. Huh? That was a bar. I stole yeah, his bar. Yeah, he's taking my moment. He doesn't want to make me shy, this guy. Light skin nigga tendencies, eh? <laughs> but, but yeah, bro, that's, that's what I want to say. Life is all about everything, dog, in life. Um, yeah. Even going to the gym, building muscle, losing weight. It's Patience and persistence because you've got to be persistently hitting the gym and patience while not seeing the results. Once you for lose sure, one of sure. the two, mm. once you lose the, 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 the patience, meaning you're going to be working out, you're going to be working out, but you're not patient to see the results, you're going to give up. But also, once you patience and not persistence, it's not going to work as well because you're not going to the gym. Here's my question. What do you then say to someone who does not know what to do with their lives? You understand? Force. What to be patient? Force. Wait, Force. wait. Like, this, this is a serious, like a serious question because mm. you you're giving us the the key to to to, to the destination. No, yeah. no, no. You're saying that if you're patient and persistent, you'll get it. But now I'm saying I don't even know what it is I want to get. That's the question of purpose. That's the mm. question of destiny. Mm. What am I now? What am I meant to do? Robert because, Greene. Yeah. He's a he's a I don't, you know the author. He said. Yeah. Um, there's things from your childhood. For sure. Life, life gives you... This is bits. Sentence, you know, it didn't work. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know my nigga read books, bro? <laughs> I read books, bro. Oh, yeah. So, he says life gives you small breadcrumbs. Yeah. In childhood. Small things. Maybe you, 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 you say you were inclined to words. Yeah. And that is a small breadcrumb that life, that life gave you. Yeah. So that's why I'm saying I I don't think if there's someone that says I don't know what to do with my life for sure. Speak to someone. Let that person ask you questions. Okay. When you were young, what is your favorite memory? Someone will say, "Yo, I this pie that I ate, scrum delicious." Yeah. And then you, I'm just saying, yeah. maybe it's a chef. Yeah. Robert Greene had an. A, the same inclination that you had with yeah, words yeah. but he didn't know what he was going to do with those things yeah but he just liked how like you can mix a lot of words mm. pen and then you, you can make it pencil yeah, just an example sure. yeah. so that was a small breadcrumb that life gave him Mto, i'm sure you watched ronaldo in mm. menu yeah and then he's like yeah I, w I want to be that fit or I want to be that fast. Yeah. You, you get what I'm saying? So life gives you small breadcrumbs and it's up to us or you or him to listen to and to hear the universe mm. to say, okay, this happened, this happened. He's now an author because of the words. Okay. Mto saw a podcast and said, yeah, yeah I can be good at that. For sure. Yeah. You, you, you get what I'm saying? I get it. So I, I don't think it. there's someone that's completely lost and has nothing to give. I think I think there are people like that because I think you're talking from experience. At some point, yeah, at some point, I I was mm. that person, man. Yeah. You know why? Mm. Because because like, for me, it was not even a thing of not being able to identify what I'm gonna do. It was a thing of like I've, I'm low-key like a jack of all trades, you know. Mm. That's and, what I was talking about. Yeah. Like a lot of yeah. Abilities, like yeah. Interest, you don't know where to focus. Yeah. But also, the lot of abilities is is, is 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 even the jack of all trades. It, it's not necessarily that I have a lot of abilities. It's just that the ability stretches into so many industries. Mm. Do you understand? It's like I could be a I could be a rapper. I could mm. I could be a writer. Mm. I could I could be. Uh, I don't know what, what else. Anything that has to do with compiling something and being or articulating something, mm. right? 
I could even conceptualize and because and the point communication is not even just about words. I used to think I was like the gift is words, but I realized that the, the, the gift is actually being able to put across an idea mm. in a vivid way, right? Mm. And the, the goal for me in every time I communicate is I'm trying to make the idea I'm trying to come up, uh, put across mm. more vivid to mm. you so you get it. So, bro, make a TikTok. Yeah. Tell people, yo, this is how you talk to girls. Smooth yeah. butter lips. You, you say, nah, oh, but, oh butter tongue. Teach them how to I teach can't. them how to talk to us. I won't lie, guys. This, I, one of the ways I know that the streets are not as cold is because I left them. I understand? If I drop, if I drop those jewels, nah, for real, for real, guys. It was not nice. You know, it's not. It's I cold. Think, ah, my nigga, trust me. I was the winter in the streets. You get what I mean? Hey, 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 hey. No, 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 no. But we talk. We talk about. We talk about. We talking, talking about purpose, man. How do we get there? <laughs> but like, but I feel you, bro. But I feel. But what I'm trying to say is that, like, the question, the the, the 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 like, when someone has questions around what they're trying to 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 like contribute or solve about, the, like, when they have mm. questions around purpose, it's really something that's very like deep indebted in the fact that I, I'm alive. Mm. And the more conscious you, were, you are of that, that, hey, I'm alive, man. You know? It's wow. crazy. It's crazy, though. If you really think about it, like, it's crazy to be mm. super. I used it's to have crazy. moments where I'm looking at my hands, I'm like, man, what the heck am I? Yeah. You get what I mean? That's his <laughs> For real, though. It's for real. For before real. you take us away, before you take us away, guys, yeah. there's a movie on Netflix. It's called Father Stu. Chief, yeah. now you promoted no. <laughs> no, no, it 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 it, 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 it relates. So there's this guy, he's a he's a he's not a yeah. jack of all trades, but he tries everything. For he's sure. in his like late forties or late fifties. He's trying to do everything. He's still living with his mom. He's, he's tried he tried to uh, be an actor. He tried to yeah. so now He's that guy who's trying everything, but nothing's materializing. Sure. And then he ends up becoming a pastor. He's, he was a guy that was always swearing, that likes bombs and what. He became a pastor. Yeah. And it's a very nice movie, bro. What's it called? Be, Father Stu. Father. So, father, yeah. like the pastor. Yeah. And then STU. Father Stu. Yeah. Oh, wait, and oh, then wait. he becomes paralyzed. Oh, snap. And now, the, yeah. But let me not... Shout out yeah, to yeah. my boy, give me Netflix a shout out to the Charles Podcast. Um, guys, thank you, thank you very much. I hate saying thank you. You know what's funny, dog? People are very interesting. Once you say thank you, this is the end. You know they do exit. Then they don't watch the important thing I want to say next. Ish. So guys, um, we want to say um, shout out to Island Production. Oh, um, we're recording live at um, Alton Bar Club. What is it? It's a club. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. recording live at Alton Club in Victoria Hatfield. Do check them out and shout out to, to Island Production, man. They are slowly becoming the, the backbone of Open Chats podcast. Shout mm. out to Prince and shout out to Four Black Stars is not around. Shout out to me. Shout out to Mr. Eighty Twenty and shout out to um, yeah, Carlo. Yeah. Thanks for sure. coming. I appreciate it. It was a very beautiful episode. Then, guys, please don't forget to subscribe and let us know what you think in the comment section. Follow us on Instagram. Follow us on. Um, TikTok, Twitter, Facebook, everything. It's all Open Chats Podcast. And if you're interested in joining the podcast, please do send us an email on the description below. Then another thing, we want to make an announcement of do check out. Other segments are coming on the show, gents. Um, a lot is coming on Open Chats Podcast. Otherwise, this is it. We out. So, no I have one question. What's your question, Jim? How do you know that it's here? What? <laughs> the description, like how, how no, do you know? Chief, remember they are watching on YouTube, Chief. So yeah, when but they are how watching, do you know? <laughs> how, it's, how here, Chief. it's here, Chief. If you're watching you this video, it guys, you will see it. It's here. Do you get ah, me? Let's bet 100 rand. It's <laughs> not going to be it's exactly here, on Chief. that spot. <laughs> <laughs> I promise you, it's here, Chief. <laughs> nah, yeah. I always wonder, bro. Yeah, uh, chief, chief, uh, chief, chief, I mean, I'm too much. Because yeah. typically people say like yeah, the mm. link. They, they'll like, just nah, say the, they'll, they'll say the link below. Here. I know it's here, chief. <laughs> I'll put it here. Oh, yeah. oh I'll put it here. It's yeah. also me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you guys. Open Chat Podcast, we out, man. Oh, peace.